Our show explores the conversations between baby boomers and millennials that are super awkward and hard to have. So we wanted to pick something symbolic of the divide between millennials and baby boomers. It was an artistic thematic choice. Yeah, avocado toast. Um, why did we write this show and how did that happen? Well, the old adage goes. I can't wait. Write what you know. That was actually very good. She normally misquotes <laughs> expressions, <laughs> but that was extremely apt and totally accurate. I did it. I, I did, did it. it. You really um, did it. Yeah, and what yeah. we know is... <laughs> I don't, I... Trying to come out as bisexual. Yeah. And, uh, you know, what happens when you're 31, living your life, and your parents have a divorce? And we happened to go through these things at the same time in tandem. When we met. Yeah. That, like a week after we met, these things were happening. So we were doing a play in a small town mm -hmm. uh, and we were each other's support system. We didn't really know each other and we were thrust together in this time where we really needed a friend or an ally. Yeah, and we found that we were laughing a lot more than we were crying, which was nice. Yeah, and we were really trying to make each other laugh. Mm -hmm. Um, which is why Avocado Toast is a comedy. Mm -hmm. it, it hits on some hard pressing issues and explores some things that are challenging to go through as a human being. I think part of a, the struggle that I had in knowing whether I should come out or whether I was going to come out or what I was going through was because I didn't have characters to point to. I hadn't seen people's journeys. That would have that would have really helped me to point to that and say, that's what I'm going through. I'm bisexual. Bisexual people exist. Mm -hmm. I spent a long time trying to force myself into a straight box or a lesbian box, and I never really felt like I fit in anywhere. Um, so by creating a character that says out loud, I'm bisexual, and watching her come to that conclusion, uh, we hope to give other people the choice to watch our show and see themselves and feel more represented and able to also come out uh, and state that they're bisexual. Mm -hmm. and I also am hard pressed to point to a storyline where I see a woman in her 30s going through what it's like to have your family divorce and break apart. I think representation for that will help people who are unable to grieve and talk about that while they're going through it because they're an adult and they should get over it. Mm -hmm. It's still really hard no matter what age you are and it's been so informative and incredible to have crew and cast members come up to us between takes and say, my parents got divorced last year, it was really hard for me, I found it hard to watch my mom start dating again. It just opens up a lot of interesting conversations between the baby boomers and the millennials. Yeah, representation of your life in art is a very interesting thing and I even when we were writing it in beginning stages there there was a scene I couldn't write it I had a full block against it like I everything I tried and I couldn't go there and then one day it just came out of me yeah and I think initially the writing of the story was so good for both of us and was just really helped us process some things that we wanted to process and the part that helps uh, the project move away from who we are exactly uh, and helps us fully form Molly and Elle as these characters who are separate than us and who are not us, is sharing the project with the director and the DOP and wardrobe and, and set deck and our story editor. They all bring their own perspective and influence and the characters start morphing into this clear person who is not us, uh, who is an amalgamation of what this community of artists are trying to create. And that has been really exciting and really nice.